Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to be explaining how cytokines and inflammation can cause vertigo, dizziness, and balance problems. All right, so I said cytokine a second ago, right? What does that mean? Well, a cytokine is an immune system messenger, and they're everywhere. Like, there's lots of different kinds of them. They flow freely around the body. It's important to know as we get this discussion started that, like, if you sprain your ankle, uh, that inflammation, the immune system activity that's happening, it's not confined to your ankle. These immune system messengers called cytokines, and there's things called chemokines, uh, they, tra they, they travel all throughout the body, and they let your brain know what's happening. Okay, now, I also said cytokines and inflammation can cause vertigo, dizziness, and balance problems. Well, inflammation is just the natural immune system response to being stimulated. Now, there's lots of different things that can stimulate an immune system response, but no matter what is causing the inflammation, that immune system reaction to the thing that's stimulating it uh, can affect how your brain processes the signals that come from your inner ear, uh, how they're processed by your cerebellum. So let me just explain that to you. So I like to use a little graphic, I think I'll put it on the screen here, that I call like the balance stability pyramid, right? And basically, very simply, it just means that at the base of the pyramid, you've got three corners, right? There's information that comes from your eyes that help with your balance and stability. There's information that comes from your inner ear that's important for your balance and stability. And then there's information that comes from the joints and the muscles in your neck, primarily the upper neck, that are very important for your stability and balance. And then at the top of that, we have this thing called the cerebellum. Now, there are nerves or neurons, pathways, that are carrying all that information. And every neuron has a little receiver or a receptor on it, multiple receptors, for cytokines. So what that means is, is that cytokines from your immune system can affect how your nervous system works. And I've been seeing this for 20 years. I have lost count of how many patients I've treated with all kinds of different vestibular diagnoses, whether it was BPPV or vertigo of central origin or vestibular migraine, uh, people that had chronic vestibular complaints that we fixed them, they became symptom-free simply by dealing with their immune system. Now, I'm making that sound very simple, and it's not, but that's the basic core message, right? Is that your immune system can affect your nervous system and particularly your vestibular system and the signals that are being processed in a couple of different ways. The first way is, is you can get inflammation inside your inner ear. Uh, that's typically what happens in conditions like vestibular neuritis, uh, Meniere's disease. I got a lot of videos on these things, uh, these topics. And the reason it can, the reason how it happens, I guess, just to say is, like, remember our sprained ankle example? Like, if you sprain your ankle, you notice how it swells? Well, that's the inflammatory response. It's part of healing. That same thing can happen in your inner ear, but the problem is there's, like, no place for that swelling to go. And so your uh, cochlea and your inner ear kind of get crushed from the inside out, and it produces symptoms like tinnitus uh, and distorted hearing and vertigo and dizziness. Uh, you can also get neuroinflammation, which is means inflammation inside your uh, central nervous system, like inside your brain. And that can just be like putting sugar in the gas tank for that uh, balanced stability pyramid. It means that it can distort how your brain is processing things. And therefore, you can get symptoms like vertigo, dizziness, and balance. Uh, I could draw you out all the pathways, but that's really not the point of the video. Uh, the point of the video is that your immune system is often key to solving a chronic vestibular vertigo dizziness balance problem. Uh, I mean, just recently, I've been working with a lady uh, that a couple years ago developed some rotatory vertigo and some disequilibrium. She couldn't walk outside. Uh, she had to use a, a, a cane. And they put her on some steroids. That didn't help. Uh, they put her on something else that didn't help. And what finally worked was doing the workup on her, uh, doing the right test, learning what her immunophenotype was, learning what is her immune system fingerprint, what is her immune system actually doing, and then treating her accordingly. And basically what we did, and I say we, me, uh, is used a targeted, tailored approach to regulate her immune system because her immune system was the problem. And if I could tell you anything, over the last 20 years, it, easily 90% of the cases that make it to me that have chronic vertigo, chronic vestibular problems, chronic dizziness, chronic balance complaints, there's some kind of inflammatory problem at work. Now, it's either an undiagnosed autoimmune problem, 
or a diagnosed autoimmune problem that's not being treated, or it's some sort of what we call, you could say, auto-inflammatory problem. Basically, it just means their immune system is the problem. And the, the key is, is tracking it down. And that's sometimes not easy. <laughs> sometimes it is easy. Sometimes it's, hey, you're eating the wrong foods. We're going to change your diet. Hey, you're vitamin D deficient. Other times, there's some complex things involved, like there's viral infections and, you know, mold and mycotoxins. I know that may sound exotic, but, but it's real. Um, and the, the trick is you have to do the right tests for the right person. Like, you just don't do $10,000 worth of tests on every person because, number one, that's cost prohibitive. It doesn't make any sense. And it's not efficient. So, what I'm telling you is, is that if you have a, a vestibular problem, a balance problem, vertigo, dizziness, and it's just not going away, you need to find someone who can really assess and evaluate you, looking particularly at your immune system, looking for, hey, do you have an autoimmune condition that nobody knows about? Uh, or do you have one that you do know about that just no one's, no one's treating correctly? Uh, or is there an inflammatory problem? Then you've got to track down Where's that coming from? So like where there's, where there's smoke, there's fire. But the thing is, where's the fire? And is it just one fire? Is it food sensitivities? Is it uh, a breakdown of your gut barrier? Is it a breakdown of your blood brain barrier? And why? And you can see, you can go all kinds of places with this. You have to be a good detective. The doctor you're working with has to be a good detective. And I realize that can be hard to find because especially if you're working in like an insurance model, uh, most of the doctors you're gonna see, they just don't have time to investigate this. They got about five or six minutes to see what's up with you, give you a medication or send you to vestibular rehab, right? Who doesn't do any type of metabolic workup or biochemical workup. So you're gonna have to look for someone who understands all the stuff that I'm talking about. So here's the thing, if you've got these chronic symptoms, you gotta find someone that understands the immune system and how to track down what's going on with your immune system. And particularly, I think you need to find someone who understands how to discover and test for your immunophenotype. And again, what that is, is phenotype just means what does your immune system look like, right? And there's a test you can do. It's called a uh, comprehensive lymphocyte immunophenotyping. Not a lot of people are doing it because it's difficult to interpret. Uh, and it's been around for a few years. But I would look for someone that knows how to do that, that's got experience doing it. And don't give up. They're out there. Uh, you just got to keep looking. I'll see you next time.